Since early this year, we've been working with SingularityNet on a converter to bring their ERC-20 tokens over to Cardano. It's been a much anticipated part of a wider strategic collaboration we've been building with Ben Goetzel's groundbreaking AI project. Let's hear more about that. We're joined today by Janet Adams from SingularityNet and by Joaquin from the core team here at IOG to hear the very latest. Thank you both very much for joining us. Now, Joaquin, for people who haven't been following the show regularly, perhaps you can give us a little bit of a backstory. What is the ERC-20 converter and, and how did it come about? So the team has been working very hard on a solution for SingularityNet to help them in their migration process. Uh, so we built a tool that will allow them to migrate their token, the AGIX token, from Ethereum, where it currently resides, to Cardano. So, Janet, thank you very much also for joining us on the, on the show. We've met Ben and we've met a number of other of your colleagues, but it's it's great to have you here today. Uh, it's amazing to be here, Tim, to finally meet you at last in person as well. I've been a fan for so long. Uh, thank you for inviting me. I'd also like to say a very big warm thank you to Wekin and the whole team, Remy, and for all the hard work that they've been doing on this converter. It's been a huge pleasure and a privilege to work with Wekin and the team. And we're really, really loving working together, as always, Singularity Notes and Cardano. And look, you know, we, we have got quite a close collaboration as, as businesses. Perhaps you can just tell us a little bit about the choice to work with Cardano and why it's such a good match. So I've been with Singularity Net for seven months, but I have been watching and a fan of Singularity Net since they were formed or since early 2018. And, and I saw the relationship and the announcement of the Cardano and uh, Singularity Net partnership. And I just thought it made perfect sense to me. Ben and Charles are the two finest technologists on the planet today. Charles has built the world's most advanced, most mathematically proven, academically researched blockchain. Ben is the father of artificial general intelligence and an outstanding AI leader. And together, Cardano and SingularityNet, we have shared common purpose and values. We both want to have positive impact on humanity. We want to bring about revolutionary planetary scale technological change that decentralizes fundamentally society and puts democratizes access to wealth and to identities. And, and so together through the AI revolution, the blockchain revolution over the next decade, we're really going to transform the world. So it just makes perfect sense. The partnership is a match made in heaven from my perspective. So let's uh, zoom back in, Joaquin. Obviously, people will be dying to know um, where are we in the process? We're getting pretty close now. Yes, very close. So some weeks ago, we successfully deployed a stable version into a working and a stable environment, the internal testing environment. Uh, so we could do all the testing and the security auditing together with SingularityNet. And after all that testing and auditing, we discovered some issues and some edge cases that we need to address before uh, releasing to the public. But today, we are happy to say that we have a, a final version that we can deploy onto the domain that uh, SingularityNet uh, facilitated. So uh, after some more testing and once we confirm that everything is working properly, we will announce the release of the testnet. So everybody can come and try it and give us their feedback. Now, now to be clear, this is a, a custodial bridge, isn't it? It's, uh, it's a slightly different thing to a permissionless bridge. Perhaps you can just tell us the difference there. Exactly. So this is the first bridge that we ever built uh, to connect two different blockchains like Ethereum and Cardano. And the way it works is that uh, you will lock your tokens in the Ethereum side and then mint the tokens on the Cardano side. And if you want to migrate back to uh, Ethereum, you will have to burn those tokens on Cardano to then unlock the tokens in the Ethereum side. That makes our tool uh, a centralized solution because there's only one uh, central authority which needs to um, have the custody of those locked tokens on Ethereum. No? And it's a central authority that the user need to trust. But the uh, process is completely transparent and users can uh, verify on chain that their locked uh, tokens are there and they haven't moved. So Janet, the Singularity Net community has also been eagerly awaiting this uh, this converter. What's your message to them now? 
Well, uh, come along and test it on Testnet. You don't need to use your AGIX. You don't even need AGIX and you won't pay gas fees. But you know, this is this is really unlocking the power and the potential of our phase two for our community. We'll be able to bring much higher staking rewards. We'll be unlocking loyalty rewards for the community and for our AI developer community. It will be so much more of a feasible, uh, so much more of an attractive proposition to use the AI platform on Cardano with much, much lower usage fees with homomorphic encryption. And uh, we very much envisage this port to Cardano as opening the floodgates for exponential expansion of the use of AIs on the platform. So come and get involved. And of course, we're really happy to help anyone who'd like to understand how better to work with AI on our platform. I think we're going to be doing a workshop with Cardano sometime next year on this. We hope so. We hope so. Now, of course, we'll drop a blog post as soon as the test net is ready for you to get involved. Um, but Joaquin, what, what will people do once they can, what can they try out on that test net and, and how can we best capture that feedback? Yeah, everybody can get some test net tokens from the faucet so they can try the application. They can migrate their tokens from Ethereum to Cardano. And the main core functionality that this uh, tool allows is to uh, convert an ERC20 uh, standard to a Cardano native asset. So users can only uh, benefit from the um, advantages of having a, the Cardano multi-asset ledger with cheaper and faster transactions, but they can also migrate back to Ethereum so they can f decide where they want their tokens to live. No, uh, So it's now a cross-chain uh, asset that is compatible with both protocols. Now, Joaquin, it's always difficult being pressed on timings, as we know, Perhaps just give us a bit more of an indication of the kind of time frame we're talking about from testnet to mainnet, if all goes well. Okay, so if all goes well, uh, we still need to do some more testing uh, before we release the testnet environment. But once uh, that is confirmed that everything is working properly, and then we will announce that everybody can come and uh, try it and give us their feedback. No? And then if everything goes well, we are expecting at least one or two sprints uh, to catch up with all the issues and all the bugs that the users report. So we have some time to, to implement the, the fixes. And yeah, uh, after at least one or two sprints, I think we will be in good shape for uh, releasing the mainnet if we don't find anything critical, anything that uh, is more complex. And to finish off, Janet, just before we let you go, we always love hearing more about what's going on in the uh, Singularity Net ecosystem. Obviously, the focus at the moment is the RC20 converter with you. But what other things have we got to look forward to? Well, in respect of the converter at first, because that's the core topic for today, obviously we're very excited getting ready for our deep funding tool, um, um, launch. So deep funding, under deep funding, we have 30% of our tokens available for uh, startups and for projects which will be building on the Singularity Net platform. So that, that's really exciting for us at the moment. And we're also exploring the possibility of using Hydra to make a custom Cardano sidechain. But outside of the converter, there's so much going on in the community. We have uh, Singularity DAO releasing Dynaset soon. NewNet span off last week, our decentralized computing platform, and, and the token sales sold out in 90 seconds. So huge thanks to everyone in the community who supported that. Our Rejuve Longevity app is, is very close to being finished and released. We've got a world-class team working of artistic and creative directors working on our Sophiaverse, our metaverse and that's in in design stage and we're really super excited by that we're accelerating our agi and hyperon um projects with definition of working with with our new programming language uh, for hyperon called meta and uh, programming design there we have got of course our beautiful robot grace who is now uh, available in demo preview um, free preview version, who had her first public appearance at the Cardano blockchain stampede in Wyoming with Charles, which is which is super exciting. 
And we are currently right now massively stoked to be working with the Cardano community. And thank you so much for the Fund 7, for Catalyst Fund 7, for collaborations with Singularity Net. So I'm sure I've missed some things. We have so much going on in our in our vibrant ecosystem. But it's 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 such a pleasure to be here with you and always continually strengthening and expanding our beautiful partnership with Cardano and the great, great benefits that that brings to the Singularity Net ecosystem, the Singularity Net community and the Cardano community. Thank you. Janet, indeed. Thank you. And Joaquin, thanks also for joining us today. Thank you for having me.